joined by assistant head coach and wide receivers coach Stan Hickson. Coach, first of all, welcome to Penn State. We're thrilled to have you and just talk about what the last week has been like for you. Well, Tony, uh, last week might be a little whirlwind. I showed, up, I showed up on last Monday and staff came in together and uh, along with getting ready for recruiting, then recruiting weekend with the parents and the students on campus and I also getting a chance to meet our, meeting our players here uh, along with the new recruits. It's been, it's been really been good, but also really fast and um, it's, been, it's been a good situation. What were your first impressions when uh, you, you arrived on campus, saw the campus, saw the stadium, some of the people that you've met along the way? Well, obviously the meeting the people was most impressive uh, in, in the organization from the, the president to the athletic director uh, to the football administration people, uh, friendly, also all the way Penn State uh, uh, people that are really proud of the program. Uh, so it's been a situation where I understand why this program has been so successful over the years, and we want to keep it uh, in that going that same same direction. When Coach O'Brien gave you a call, what did you think? Well, we had talked from time to time throughout the year, but believe it or not, uh, the last game of the season, the regular season, oh, Buffalo Bills played New England Patriots mm -hmm. uh, there at uh, New England Stadium, and we talked the day before the game about some situations um, and also about the possibility of Penn State job coming open and was I be interested to come with him here and obviously I was excited by the opportunity uh, then we got things worked out and it's been full speed uh, ever since. You have 32 years of coaching experience talk about your journey to Penn State. Well my journey has been the one that I've really been blessed uh, to be in the situation right now I had like 24 years of college mm -hmm eight years of NFL experience and along the way it's really have prepared me for uh, being in this situation obviously had a lot of success along the way from LSU to Georgia Tech uh, Washington Redskins um, it's been a good situation where uh, being around good football people good coaches good players uh, and a good organization and this right this organization is one of the tops that I've been a part of you touched on the, the past eight years you've been involved with NFL teams. Mm -hmm. What can you take from that experience to the college level? One thing about uh, just dealing with people, and college level, you really get a chance to mold the players. I uh, talk about fundamentals at, at your position, and it allows them really in a learning stage where they try to mold them to be the best player they can be. Sometimes in the NFL, you might get a 10 year vet, eight year vet, he's already set. Some things you can change, and some things you don't want to change. But in college, the player is open for a suggestion, and also they still learning. You're trying to set them right in the right path and get them really best best they can be fundamentally, and also help them become the best player they can be too. How would you describe your coaching style to someone who doesn't know you? Uh, coaching style is uh, very thorough, um, to the point where uh, you know I'm going to demand things be done a certain way because I know what's best to get it done a certain way. Uh, so overall, I'm not a what people call I'm not a holler or screamer, uh, more just uh, good tempo type guy. I w I'm going to coach the players in my position how I want my son to be coached. And that's what I live on, that's how I, that's how I, I demonstrate myself. But also I care about them, uh, not just as football players, as just as student athletes. You know, we're here to win some games, but at the same time, we're we also here to be a part of the community, to be the best person you can be, um, whether it be academic or also on the, on the football field. It's not all about football. It's a big picture. It's more than just football. Talk about your time at Georgia Tech when you worked with Coach O'Brien. Uh, coach O'Brien and I worked together and he was running back coach. I was receivers and won a lot of ball games. Uh, but people don't realize uh, that he's, he can be, a, he can be a, a good comedian, but being the head coach mode, we'll see how, how that turns out. Very uh, strong intellectual, very strong as a teacher. Uh, very demanding on the football field, uh, and really, we re really worked good together at our time at Georgia Tech, and like I said, won a lot of ball games. Why do you think he's the right guy for, for the Penn State football program? Because he believes in doing things the right way, uh, and he has been through adversity along the way, so that has gotten uh, ready for this particular job too here at Penn State. Also, that he understands players, uh, not just uh, I guess I want to say players slash student athletes where what's best for them on the field and off the field and they really how to run a good program. Uh, being with the program at Georgia Tech, he'd been obviously been at Duke, 
been at Maryland, obviously at the uh, New England Patriots. So he had some experience along the way that had been very di diverse in styles, administration styles to football styles to help with this program here. Your title is assistant head coach and wide receivers coach. What are some of the responsibilities that go along with being assistant head coach? We're in the process of talking about it right now, but usually things that um, obviously has a busy schedule. Some things are going to drop down that I need to take care of. And also, when he's not around, uh, my responsibility. And also, I might be in charge of something at a different level, but he would get together and more be more in-depth along the way. What's your schedule like between now and signing day in early February? Well, obviously, today we begin recruiting. Mm -hmm. um, I'm out tomorrow. You know, we, we can only have so many guys on the field, on the road at one time, so guys be in and out. So really, recruiting is top priority. Uh, then also, uh, players we have here, making sure that they are still uh, doing good in the classroom, doing good in the weight room, and also at the same time, going out and recruit and bringing in good quality uh, individual student athletes into this particular program. Have you had an opportunity to meet with the returning wide receivers that are on yes, the team? Yes, uh, we have met to the point, uh, nothing really in-depth, mm -hmm. uh, know some names, know some faces, trying to put them all together as we go, but at the same time, um, it's going to be a lot more detail. I uh, just got most, mostly a name here and a face there, and then we get, we get together um, after recruiting also along the way on these recruiting weekends when I'm in town, continue to meet with them or just have a conversation with them, get, get to know them type uh, phase that we're going through right now. Um, it'll be a lot more in depth about the recruiting. When it comes time to evaluate the talent that you have coming back, how, do you, how does a coach do that? What, what, I'm sure obviously it centers around film, but talk about the steps that it takes to realize well, what you have. Well, we'll, what we'll do here, we'll see what we have, the players we have at say wide receiver position, also, we'll see how they fit into our particular offense. We're going to try to run. At the same time, we can also cater our offense to our quarterback and also what our players can do and see what player fit a certain position. In our offense, we have like three different type of receivers. You know, fast receiver, a good route runner receiver, have a slot receiver, and, so, and we have enough players here to fill those spots. And we have, we have some good players here. And I think it's, it's a matter of, uh, we have the receivers to do the job, and now who's going to be able to do it? I mean, who's going to be first, who's going to be second? But it's good. competition uh, and good programs are really good for the program. What are you looking forward to about that process leading up to spring practice? Oh, I, 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 enjoy, I really enjoy coaching. I enjoy teaching. I'm a teacher by trade. Uh, so just seeing what a player from go from point A to point B to point D on up to the up, up, up scale, how they develop to what we're trying to get done. And uh, it's really good to see it happen. Before you arrived in Happy Valley, what were your thoughts on the program, the, the way the football team has, has had such a long line of tradition and success? What were your thoughts on those things before you got here? Well, like, uh, been coaching for a long time, like we said, but when I was out recruiting 15 years ago, uh, to seeing some uh, coaches from Penn State, the dress code, uh, Coach Paterno and his legacy, um, the discipline in the program, doing things the right way, not DBA, uh, not recruiting in the gray area, um, players graduating from college, players going to uh, jobs outside of football, players going to jobs in the NFL, um, it's doing things the right way. And that's the biggest thing that really impressed upon me is a program that's always going to show integrity and commitment also for the player uh, to get be the best that they can be uh, in a program that's uh, tops in, in, a, in uh, college football. Looking ahead, what types of goals do you have for yourself and, and the, the, the program? Now, we'll sit down and make some goals, but really my overall goal is to make the program as best as it can be. The wins and losses that come along the way, obviously we want to win a national championship, uh, want to win a Big Ten championship, but that's going to take care of itself. And we get some more individual goals, group goals, team goals, as we get together as a staff and we have a, um, some goals that we're going to set for the team. What does it mean to you personally to be a coach at Penn State? It means that I'm to a program right now that's a strong legacy. They have done a great job uh, last 40, 50 years for Coach Paterno. And I want to do my part to make sure that um, we keep it at that level. Um, I don't want to be the one that didn't do a good enough job. So I want to make sure that I'm on my a game each and every day, really for the players, for the 
organization and also for the, for the school. You've worked with a lot of great receivers in your career, whether it be the college level or the pro level. What are some of the characteristics that you like to see in a good receiver? Well, receivers are guy, obviously you got to catch the ball. Uh, then what you're going to do after the ball, after you catch the ball. And we got to have good route runners. Uh, we got to have guys who can make players miss, defensive players miss, and also guys who could, what, what we call game changers. Who gonna, how, how are we going to change the game in a positive way, <laughs> you know? Uh, we're looking for game changers, and that's my job to help develop players uh, to get that done. What has been the reception like for you personally from the Penn State family? It's been good. It's been good, and believe it or not, um, some people that know me who I have no idea who they are, uh, but uh, that's the people who follow Penn State football, uh, Penn State University, uh, Pennsylvania State University as a whole. Uh, people have been very, very supportive. And really, uh, we're going to a phase now that we're going to continue to get better, uh, to keep, continue to keep Penn State at the high, high echelon. Finally, what's the next step for you? What's, what's obviously recruiting is big right now, but what's the next step on your agenda? Not the recruiting, uh, just getting with the players, uh, getting the staff to formulate our staff, continue to learn the playbook, uh, get our players into the offseason program, also into spring football, and then also to the spring game and also getting ready for the season. Coach, we wish you the best of luck. Well, thanks for having me, and it's really been a good time being here. Thanks. All right, brother.